subtract the fractions. Let's find 9 tenths minus 2 tenths. The denominators of these fractions are the same. They are both 10. These fractions are like fractions. To subtract like fractions, we keep the denominator the same and subtract the numerators. 9 minus 2 equals 7. So 9 tenths minus 2 tenths equals 7 tenths. Let's find 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. The denominators of these fractions are not the same. To subtract the fractions, we must first make the denominators the same. If we multiply the numerator and the denominator of 2 thirds by 2, we get 4 sixths. 2 thirds and 4 sixths are equivalent fractions. So we can rewrite 2 thirds minus 1 sixth as 4 sixths minus 1 sixth. The denominators are now the same. The fractions are like fractions. Let's subtract the numerators. 4 minus 1 equals 3. 4 sixths minus 1 sixth equals 3 sixths. So 2 thirds minus 1 sixth equals 3 sixths. Let's find 11 twelfths minus 3 quarters. The denominators of these fractions are not the same. To subtract the fractions, we must first make the denominators the same. If we multiply the numerator and the denominator of 3 quarters by 3, we get 9 twelfths. 3 quarters and 9 twelfths are equivalent fractions. So we can rewrite 11 twelfths minus 3 quarters as 11 twelfths minus 9 twelfths. The denominators are now the same. The fractions are like fractions. Let's subtract the numerators. 11 minus 9 equals 2. 11 twelfths minus 9 twelfths equals 2 twelfths. So 11 twelfths minus 3 quarters equals 2 twelfths.